to uh, interviewing key uh, business personalities and one of them of course is the mind tree management we'll get you a, a slice of that conversation in just a bit uh, for the moment we were going to discuss the impact of gst if it comes in its current form uh, on various uh, uh, sectors joining us in the first of these discussions is mr rupesh shah the executive director corporate affairs at symphony rupesh thank you very much for joining us well uh, it looks like the gst may uh, may there is a, a, a slim chance that it will make it for that april 2016 deadline though that will only be the amendment uh, and there may be still time before it's introduced but in its current version what is the sense you are getting will it do you good or will it do you bad i think for the organized industry certainly it will be good because multiplicity of the taxes and simplicity will help for a show secondly there is a cascading effect of the taxes so that will also help there are many industries where there is a substantial market share by unorganized players and due to variety of reasons the major uh, difference in the mrp or the end prices is on account of evasion of the taxes by unorganized sector so to a major extent that will be bridge and but in rupesh, uh, many companies say yeah. uh, com in uh, symphony uh, yeah and rupesh if the uh, revenue neutral rate uh, of gst is say higher than 20% the select committee apparently has advised that it should be within 20% but it's only an advice it's a recommendation if it were say 24 25% do you think there will be a greater incentive to escape the tax on the part of the unbranded and unorganized sector in which case life can actually get more difficult for you i think both are different issues one is the rate of tax and second is the compliance by unorganized sector because of uh, gst uh, many loopholes of the compliances will be really tapped Okay. and hence an organized sector will find it difficult to evade or avoid okay. as far as the rate of the taxes are concerned as we understand globally in most of the countries the rate of gst is in the range of 15 to 20 percentage okay uh, mr shah what is the current price differential between products sold by y'all as well as products sold by the unorganized market and how much of that can be bridged if gst is introduced the price difference is uh, ranging from 50 to 100 percent and about 30 to 40 percentage of the price difference is on account of the taxation so in our sales price almost 30 percentage is on account of various taxes so to a major extent that can be breached secondly in our industry almost 80 percentage of the market share in volume term is by unorganized sector mm. so we expect that with introduction of gst there will be a rapid shift from unorganized to organized sector apart from increase in size of the cake itself okay, okay. Uh, you know the uh, the argument is over that one percent manufacturing tax for uh, the produ producing states if that tax is announced, uh, uh, how does it hurt? Because it could have a cascading impact uh, if you shifted your own uh, good from state to state. Uh, there is a suggestion from the select committee. We still don't know if that will be accepted. Just give me one minute. The DFHL, uh, DHFL numbers have come and they look fairly good. Net profit is up 18% uh, to 173 crores. That looks decent. Of course, we'll have to look at the margins and the NPL picture. We are still awaiting details. Uh, on the face of it, the DFHL number looks uh, decent. Uh, the stock also is up to a quarter percent. Uh, we are still awaiting more details. Uh, we have to look at the margins picture and see whether that has improved as well, whether the bad loans... Uh, okay, I think we'll come to it in a bit. Uh, well, Rupesh, what I was asking you was that if that 1% tax is announced on manufacturing, will it be very detrimental? On the flip side, there is a, 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 a suggestion by the select committee that that 1% manufacturing should be only if the good goes from state to state for cash and not simply from depot to depot. Uh, either way, how will uh, you react? No, certainly that is going to be additional tax liability and any industry will view it adversely and globally 
in any of the country, uh, we are not aware there is a, a manufacturing tax as a part of GST. Okay. Um, so if GST is introduced, you believe it will substantially benefit your industry. So what would, you know, let's assume the GST has been introduced and say revenue neutral rate could be about 20%. Um, what would the growth for a company like yours look like on the top line and how would it compare with historical averages? Would your growth rate shoot up? Say in the uh, last three years or five years, our industry has registered a growth of about 15 percentage on a CAGR basis and as far as organized sector is concerned, it has registered a growth in excess of 20 percentage. Mm. We believe that industry growth of 15 percentage should be maintained, but organized sector growth should be substantially higher than 20 percentage. Okay. But ultimately it depends upon it what form and substance-wise exactly how the GST is going to be. Mm. What's your sense, uh, uh, by when will it actually start uh, impacting your PNL? There is still a lot of groundwork to be done, isn't it, in terms of uh, the IT bag, uh, background for uh, uh, the, uh, sorry, backbone for the tax payment. There is also confusion over uh, uh, what, what advantages and what reorganization of warehousing you guys have to do. Uh, what is the effective period we should look at 2018-2019? To us, based on our internal assessment and also as we have All India presence and also uh, based on our interactions with the department, it seems that implementation with effect from 1st April 16 is extremely challenging. One is on account of IT platform. Secondly, training. Thirdly, availability of the infrastructure. And I believe even if political consensus emerges, even in the respect of deciding the rates and various aspects by GST council may take a while. Okay. So we believe that even department itself realistically is ready to implement with effect from 1st April 17. Okay. All right. We'll leave it at that and then worry, it, worry about it at a later date. Thank you very much.